Hello YouTube, what is going on? CaptainNick88 here, and in this video, we are going to be going over how to do sync in uh, Panzoid Clipmaker 2 um, for 2D or 3D intros. Um, for this demonstration, I will be showing you guys how to uh, sync using a 2D intro, or just 2D text, because it's, it's just a lot easier for me to show you guys right now, because it's easier to set up. So. First, we're going to uh, create our text, and I'm going to go with my AE style text. So, we're going to just make this a template. But if I can spell it correctly, guys, then it would be absolutely fantastic what's going on with me today. God damn. I, I have no idea what's going on. So, we're just going to set it up real quick. Um, nothing over the top. Um, I made a tutorial on this. I believe it was my last tutorial that I. I uploaded so um if you guys want to go check that out you may absolutely uh, do so just adding the shape just adding the shape to it um, and guys I did get my uh, PC parts so um, I might be uploading some more content um, soon so we're gonna go with text number three because I like this one um, mm -mm -mm. okay so now we're just going to make it so that if it it's like that it's a little bit Uh, that's a little bit better beautiful so there is our AE style text now I'm gonna show you guys how to um, how to sync so first I'm gonna make this point seven point seven just so it's a little bit smaller so I can really show you what's going on so first thing what you're gonna to want to do to syncing is obviously you want to have a song and I don't actually have a song um, that I was going to use to demonstrate this. So let's just use this one. I hope this has a sync to it. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah, let's just let's just hope there's a sync. Jesus, it's so low. Okay, let's try that. Okay, I think that's good. So first what you're gonna do is you're gonna head over here and you're gonna get to the duplicate option. Um, and you're gonna set the multiplier to one. And then you're just gonna kind of wait till the first like drop, which is right here. And then you're going to add a keyframe and you're gonna make that whatever number you want. 2D intros are a little bit different. You don't have to go as um, sync as hard. So you can get away with a 0.8. So that's what we're going to do here. But if you're doing 3D, you may want to go a little bit further. So the first keyframe is going to be um, none. So it's just going to instantly go. And then you're going to basically just keep adding um, none keyframes with a 0.8 or whatever value you decided. Right. So you're just going to keep going like this. And yeah. Yeah, so it's this part is probably the hardest is trying to keyframe all of them, but once you have the duplicate done, then it becomes a lot easier actually. And I'll show you a little 
quick trick on uh, how to really speed things up right after this. After this point. This is the, the only point where you actually have to do every single keyframe. Okay, so now that you've done all of that, you're gonna go back to back to the beginning uh, where you started your keyframes, and you're gonna so you're gonna go to the first one, and then you're gonna go move over to the second one. Okay, so the first one is going to be um, quadratic in, and that's gonna be set to one. Okay, so do that, and then you want to skip skip every every um, skip every other one, and you're gonna add it like this. Okay, I'll show you why you're gonna do that in a second. And if there's nothing after, just leave it blank because the last one is gonna be linear no matter what. Okay, so now you wanna go back to the beginning, okay, and you wanna go to, let's just go to the, the, the original, I guess, because it's just easier to show you that way. You're gonna make it linear. So, so go here and click linear, and then you're going to just duplicate oh to duplicate by the way you hold alt and then you drag the keyframe so just in case you guys didn't know um you're just gonna do that and um if you want to select multiple um multiple keyframes you're just gonna you're gonna hold shift and then click them and then um you can use alt to uh do to uh duplicate a bunch at the same time so uh you're just gonna duplicate all these keyframes like that and then wherever you want it to, to reset, you kind of just do that. And if you play it over, it looks like this. Which looks pretty pretty good. Um, you can mess with the ending. And now, the one of the main parts is the shake. Because the shake makes it look just a lot nicer so these are my shake settings for 2d intros um, the shake speed is um, 10 and these are the default settings that uh, Panzoid gives you so you don't have to change any of the advanced shake settings these are just the default um, so the shake is actually um, well first what you want to do is you want to find when it, it zooms in kind of like you see that see how it zooms in so you're, you're gonna be using that to determine when to add the shake so you're gonna you're gonna kind of go along until it goes forward. Then you're gonna add a shake for zero, okay? And then you're gonna move over one, and then you're gonna add a shake for um, point zero zero five, okay? And then now you're gonna keep moving along like that, and then boom, you see another one. Set it to zero, right? And then just keep going along. If you want to, if you want to learn a really good trick on how to speed up this whole process, ready? So you're just gonna keep going along, okay? Make sure the um, the thing's set to um, the shake is set to zero, and then just keep going along. And whenever it, it comes forward, just add add one of those shake keyframes, and I'll show you a really a really good trick on how to really make this fast. So when you get the hang of this, and you can see when the um when the the pulse I guess is gonna come in you can really um, learn to do this a lot quicker and this is actually saves a lot of time when you're creating your intros so it's very um, it's a technique that I think um, is very very helpful when creating these you just do that and I think that was it yeah so then it goes to the end so now that you've added all the zeros, now what you do is you add the the point zero zero five. So you just create one and then you duplicate them and you put them a uh, after to the right of the zeros. So you're just gonna kind of go along doing this like that. like that and I think this is the last one so oh, actually no no you leave that actually 
my bad. All right, so now when you play this over, guys, it's gonna look very nice. So let's um, let's just give it a go. And now you can always actually um, increase the uh, the duplicate um, without actually resyncing everything or uh, changing the values because that is a pain. You can just keep duplicating um, the duplicate, and it'll see it'll. It'll move up, so you can go from that to like that. But in this case, it's actually a lot harder to do that because let's say you selected point, point 0.7, but you really wanted to go point 0.6. You can't just kind of create another duplicate because it's just going to change it completely. That's going to be like way too much. So it, if you want to do something like that, you should probably go point 0.9 and then just keep duplicating it until you want. Um, you get the number that you want. And if you look, it actually um, blurs it a little bit. Um, you can add your own blur as well, but um, but you don't have to. So this is the this is the final result, and I think it looks um, very nice. And um, and that is how you do um, your sync in uh, Panzoid Clipmaker 2. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys drop a like, uh, comment uh, any tutorials you want me to do for next week because this week I have the whole list of this week's uh, tutorials. So we did this one, and now the next one's gonna be um, syncing shapes, like um, the squares and um, like the triangles and stuff. And then um, the next one is gonna be how to edit an intro, um, like the 2D intros um, without any um, problems or any bugs or anything. Um, and then we also got spline explosions on 2D intros or 3D if you want to use it for that. So like really nice explosions um, behind the text and stuff like that. And then how to add the Panzoid Clip Maker application. So uh, stay tuned for those guys. But comment next week's tutorials and I definitely look at them. So I really want to know what you guys want to see. Um, but uh, the ones I just listed are going to be for this week. So without further ado, guys, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, peace and bye-bye.